spent half my life talking to no one listening. Because even as it seems, I could wrap it all in one single sentence if only anyone would give me the chance to explain. You said that you had the day off. I should only be about an hour. All right. Yeah, of course. I just don't know why you've asked me to. Oh, no. No. I've got nothing to say no. to him. Just maybe listen. Otherwise, you're going to regret it. Debs, this is Sonia. Hello. She's heard all about you. A stroke? In the bar. She could have drowned. Yeah. She'd been saying for weeks she had headaches. But I was too caught up in my auditive reports. I didn't take it seriously enough, did I, love? And none of this is any excuse. I should have told you from the off. But you and me will have told the unexpected turn of events. And then stop, start. And then suddenly it felt like I deliberately kept my actual life a secret. And I didn't know the right words. I know it is hard. Really hard. I ain't like I ain't been up against it at work, you know, caring for someone, like oh, someone in Debbie's position. I'm so sorry for her. I'm sorry for both of you. Like, I can even, like, I, I get why it would have been difficult to tell me. Ain't something you just slip into conversation, is it? Well, exactly. But you me. didn't tell me, did you? you? You climbed into my bed. You moved into my house. And you... You let me believe it was us against the world. And it ain't about whether I want to share you or not. Or even what my life would look like with Debbie as she is. It ain't even about what sort of man pretends his wife don't exist. You did not tell me. You got caught out. So I am getting a cab home on my own. Because that is enough. 